What's up YouTube? Back at it again with another build. Today we're going to be working on the electrical part of a high powered desk fan. And when I say high powered, I mean high powered. <laughs> I went a little overboard on the motor on this. Just for the sheer fact that I wanted to see what it would do. And uh, see the capability of this 3D printer. So basically I... 3D printed a fan. I 3D printed a case, which you won't see the case in this yet. But basically, when I 3D printed it, I 3D printed it so that it would totally encase the fan, just in case it exploded, which I end up testing in this video. But uh, you guys are going to see me um, splicing the wires, getting everything set up for the motor and the controller that I went with. always got to heat shrink them wires so what I did here is I actually looped the wires in the um, slots they give you is I didn't want to use spade connectors on this. I actually just wanted to solder it on there because I know I'm not going to come or go off and on with these wires here. So I just left it be because this, I'm just going to build this and it's going to be on my desk as a desk fan. So. So I've really had to put some heat into these these wires in order to get them to uh, ball up right with the solder. So you'll see a lot of smoke. <laughs> and that's because uh, this cheaper wire that you can get on Amazon, the, the actual uh, coating they put on it, or the sheathing they put on it, isn't really that great. And it actually melts pretty easily, which is probably not good for wiring anyways. But uh... I do have the soldering iron set pretty high, so that could be why this happened. So this is the PWM controller I'm using for the motor. And the reason I went with this is it's a three amp unit. So it's not, and it does limit it. 
so it keeps it from going too fast so I don't want this fan to explode <laughs> which I am building the housing for uh, but it'll keep the amperage low so that none of the wiring gets too hot or anything like that so I actually tested it with this uh, bench power supply and anywhere between uh, 14 and a half volts to uh, 24 volts and it never it, it basically hit three amps and that was it no matter where the voltage was so that's how I know it's limiting the, the current And yes, I know these aren't wire strippers.
So this is me testing the motor at, I think I set it at 14 and a half volts for the first test. And it actually spins up quite quick. So you'll see when I put the fan blade on, uh, it has some torque. So I ended up leaving it at 14, 14 and a half. Uh, but I did bump it up for the testing, for testing the fan to uh, 24 volts. And uh, <laughs> it got a little rowdy. And like I said, I was a little worried about the fan coming apart. And I really didn't want that to happen while I was holding it. So I kind of didn't push it so much. And I was kind of worried about the collars I used in order to attach it, which you'll see here in a minute. So here's the 3D printed fan I made designed, made, whatever you want to call it. Uh, took about three, three and a half hours to print the fan. And then I set it up for these collars I found on Amazon. And they slide onto a five millimeter shaft motor and use two lock dowels that you tighten up with Allen keys. And it, it holds it on there pretty well. I can, I physically can't pull it off of there without feel like I'm a damage to blades. So I'm hoping that it being locked on there it ain't gonna try to uh, the torque of the impeller is not gonna try to either strip it away or pull it off of there but it does move a lot of air <laughs> which is what I was hoping for and the voltage is still at Turn it up a little bit here to about 24 volts. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I know I enjoy making them and making these little projects. So you guys stay tuned for the next part of it. I put the case on it and do some real testing. I'd like to do a max speed, but <laughs> I'd love to have a case on this thing before I actually do that. Just to, you know, not blow it up and into my face. But uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.